Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Karen Campbell. Israel is now urging Palestinians to evacuate as it prepares for a potential ground invasion in Gaza. This as the humanitarian crisis continues to get worse in the region. Richard Engel now has the latest. The IDF calls for the evacuation of all civilians from Gaza City. Israel overnight warned more than one million Palestinians to evacuate their homes within 24 hours as it continues to attack the Gaza Strip and cut it off. Israel says it had no choice but to attack Gaza to disarm and deter Hamas after its gunmen butchered 1,300 Israelis and foreigners and kidnapped upwards of 150. And it's flattening the Gaza Strip to do it, with around-the-clock airstrikes and tanks taking up positions and opening fire. Israel says it only targets Hamas. But what about the children? 40% of the 2 million Gazans are under 15. The UN says a humanitarian crisis is dire and getting worse. Hospitals in Gaza are overwhelmed with thousands of dead and wounded. Doctors are running out of supplies and Israel has cut the power and water. As I'm speaking, there is bombing everywhere around the hospital. The building is shaking every minute or two minutes. Uh, I don't know if we are going to see another day. And uh, I hope my family is going okay. Israeli troops and heavy weapons are now ringing Gaza. A ground assault could come soon. The brunt of it, it seems, will come from the north. So as you can see, oh, we're all preparing our bags and leaving our house. Salma Sharab is a 22-year-old dental student. Uh, no one has a place right now. Uh, if you have a car, just run. No one knows where we're going. But we're all evacuating. Prime Minister Netanyahu says Hamas is like ISIS and released graphic photographs of children killed and mutilated by Hamas terrorists. He showed them to Secretary of State Blinken, who today traveled from Israel to Jordan on a mission to prevent the war from spreading across the region. And that was Richard Engel reporting. Right now, law enforcement agencies across the country are increasing patrols as calls for attacks on the Jewish community intensify. This comes after the former leader of Hamas reportedly called on people to stage an attack today in what's being called a day of anger to protest Israel's counterattack on Gaza. Increased patrols in communities, particularly to the Jewish and Muslim institutions across the city and across the country. So they're taking this seriously, but at the same time, you've got to make sure that people are not overreacting to information that's just not true. And so far, there are no credible threats of violence in America, but there is an aggressive law enforcement presence as a precaution. And with so many people on edge, one leader says people should trust their instincts even if it means canceling plans. And we are continuing to hear heartbreaking stories of Hoosiers caught in the crossfire of war. We talked to a Fisher's woman whose husband is trapped in Gaza. Susan Abdel Salam tells us her husband is Palestinian and an American citizen. He traveled to Gaza in late September to be with his family, who he hadn't seen in 14 years. Now she talks to her husband when she can, but Susan doesn't know how to get her husband back home. I'm sorry, <laughs> but it's hard. Hard on me and my, my kids. They're worried, everybody's worried, but I just plead for anyone that has any kind of pull to be able to do something to help these people get out. That's, that's what needs to happen. And Susan has reached out to her representative, Congresswoman Victoria Sparts, for help. We contacted her office about this case. They tell us that they are working on it.